Well, good morning, YouTube. Hope you guys are doing well. You look behind me, you can see some plans to do something crazy here with the RV. We're gonna do something crazy today. Hey guys, thanks for joining me here on the Nomadic Fanatic channel. I'm Eric. Jax the Cat is inside the RV. You'll see him in a little bit. Kind of windy and chilly, so I'm wearing a hoodie to start the day, but I got a project here, and I'll be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. Link below if you need some mobile unlimited internet here. You take a take a look. I got some painters tape all over the side of my RV. And you may also remember from my April Fools video, I had removed my round custom Nomadic Fanatic logo on the RV. Oh my god, it's Nomadic Fanatic! <laughs> also the one on top of the windshield there that said Nomadic Fanatic. Uh, this will be the first time I really address this because uh, for the last six years of my life on YouTube, I've been really into advertising the channel. I've been pushing that. Uh, you can reach up to a thousand people a day on the interstates at advertising your channel. I even put one on here last year on the smart car to advertise the channel. And um, I, moving forward, things are changing. Um, I, I reach a good enough audience. I have a good base. I have, I have some really good subscribers out there. I'm comfortable with the channel's growth. And for that reason, I have decided to go back to a little more stealth look. And you can't just take off the round decal and leave it open because it looked really weird. So I am redoing my decals. Yeah. So in order to understand what that means, these are all vinyl decals. I do not have painted on decals except for on the bottom here. This whole section from here is paint, but all of the decals from Coachman that are not even in very good condition, they are just stickers. And some of them have not fared as well in the sun and the weather and everything. So I have actually been carefully planning this out for quite some time. As you can see, I've got my tape lines. In, in, in many cases, these tape lines are where the old decals were. Uh, in, in other ways, they are completely brand new by design. Since I have Nomadic Fanatic and text up there, that's why there's that extra little leg right there that's going to cover some of the text. I, I know I'm not going to be able to completely disguise the old logo on here because of the fact that two years of sun and fade, you'll, you'll always kind of see it. But what we'll be able to do is with these new graphics, you're, it'll be able to trick your eye into no longer seeing the, the faint decal behind it. Now, if you're worried that I'm not going to be able to pull this off, what if I told you I already did this one right here. Yeah, that's right. This whole decal right here, this brown one, I did myself. Uh-huh, used to be red. In fact, same thing on the front. You guys probably remember since I've had this RV, this stripe right here has always been red. And now it's brown because I didn't like the red on both sides. Over here on this side too, and actually, yeah, that, now you can really see it in, in the sunlight. It really turned out well. Um, I used a, a, a matte color because I am going to wax the whole RV anyway. We're going to get that shine back that we've almost kind of lost in some places. It's been a couple years, so I'm going to eventually put that wax back on and then this brown will be glossy again. And then again over here on the passenger side, I've kind of taped it off and marked where everything's going to go. Can you kind of faintly see some of the old logo there? Yeah. Again, we got some stuff coming down to cover the text of the logo. And uh, I got this good tape that doesn't bleed. So, and I've got really crisp lines. So, <laughs> I know it sounds terrifying painting your own RV with decals, but like I said, it did work the first time and I'm really happy with that brown. Although I still need to uh, touch up where you can kind of see the old red in there. Uh huh. So let me get a couple things prepared here and I will show you what products I'm going to use and uh, how I'm going to go about doing this today. Thanks for joining me guys. Okay, so I got my rolling pans. I got a roller outside with these little three inch smaller rollers. I went with uh, Bare Ultra stain blocking. This is paint and primer. It's exterior satin enamel. Did all this at Lowe's. I picked out the colors from a sheet. I don't have the sheet with me, but I, I brought a sheet out to the exterior of the RV and picked my three earth tones. So here's the gray that I picked. Here's the brown that you've already seen. And then also a, uh, a black that matches the existing black on some of the sticker decals out there. So, so I got three quarts of paint 
And uh, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. Outside on the other two decals that I did, that's that's two coats, so you have to put a coat on, then you have to wait two hours before applying a second coat. Well, two to four hours. Let's probably wait four hours, it'll probably be better, since we're getting a start here at about 11 a.m., but there's always prep work, and prep work is always the part that takes a lot longer than actually painting, so. And then, so, because I'm choosing to simply paint over some of the existing decals in some places, not, not everywhere, but I do have to paint over some in some places, these are impossible to take off. I've tried, it just chips, it doesn't matter how much you heat it up, and they're, they're, they do not come off nicely, so, in order to get the paint to really adhere to this, I'm using some of this this scotch stuff and and basically I'm just going through and I'm, I'm really scuffing it all up and that that takes a little bit of process but I just go through and then I'll hop on the ladder and get the ones on the top and we're just gonna scuff all this and then after I get done doing that I'm gonna wash all the surfaces with some really good uh, chemical I forgot what I'm using but anyway yeah gotta get that done so I'll go ahead and do this to all my decals and then get back to you all right and while I'm waiting for the alcohol to dry on all the decals now it's probably a good time to say don't do what I do blah 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 consult your professional blah 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 I know there's 200 million of you in the comments telling me I did everything wrong and you're a professional and so much better than me blah 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 give those guys a, a, a cookie I'm just showing you how I'm doing it <laughs> Also, I'm, I'm not just throwing this together last minute. I, I've actually got blueprints. There, there, there's actually a, a, a plan here. I'm only using three colors, but uh, I've got the driver's side with all the decals laid out like they are on the back there. Jeez, it's just incredibly windy today. But I've got <laughs> brown, gray marked, gray, black. So I kind of looked at it and decided how I'm going to mix the colors together to make to make them more realistic because from the factory you know they went gray 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 black red I mean it's just all over the place so I'm going a little more like planning out my my, my neutral colors over here and the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna start with one color I'm gonna fill my pan and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do all the browns at one time start from this end go to the other side by the time I get done, I'm gonna be able to wrap up the brown and then I'm gonna switch to black and then I'm gonna do gray. And by the time we get done with gray, it'll be at least over two hours. I'll be able to start back over with the second coat of the brown and start the whole process back over. In between, I'll probably start doing my, my cut-ins along those, those tricky areas with the brush also. But um, let's roll on some paint, y'all. I've actually decided to start with black since that's what's on the bottom. We're going to start with black here and uh, oh gosh, the wind is ridiculous. <laughs> I tried to come over here to the side of the building where there's no wind and it's just ridiculous. I'm not going to try to attempt to film this whole thing because it's just too crazy windy and it's really going to slow me down. But I will at least give you a little shot here of how well this works on the first coat. This is also why I'm not spray painting because it never stops being windy in Illinois. Where are you going? Uh, where are you going? Hello? I needed that. Yeah, I guess I got to keep everything inside when I'm not using it. We'll open this uh, black up and get her, get her stirred up here. I also kept this paint up in the uh, dashboard of the RV there in the sunlight so that it didn't get too cold. So it's it should be ready to go here. All right, and then we'll get started here with some paint in here. Mm -hmm. And we'll go take this over there and I'll show you some of my first lines here. All right, last chance. Again, don't do what I do. There we go, the first layer of paint. It's just a tack on, like I said, you can you can even see through it in some places, but uh, we'll let that dry, keep working around, and then I will show you, I will show you after I get done with all my colors, come back with a second coat on this, what this looks like a second time, because again, there it is up close. So, we shall see.
All right, guess what? First coat is done with all three colors. Remember, this brown right here, this this is two coats, okay? So don't, don't judge me by the fact that you can see through some of the blacks and grays and browns on here, but I'm gonna stand back so we can take a look. And if you just kinda judge it with the front, it fits. Although it does need to be glossy. So right now it's satin. Later on, it's gonna be glossy with some high gloss. The wind almost knocked me off the ladder. It's ridiculously windy, but this is the only day I had to do this really because the rain's coming and I already had all the tape and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and take a quick little break. Um, I did cut in around the, the gray, around the window with the gray, but I forgot to do it uh, with the black and the brown. I forgot to cut in. So before I do my second coat rolled on, I do need to bring those two brushes out and fix those two. But, you know, it is coming along. Right now it looks weird because you got the crisp edges of the old decals and you're looking at the green tape and it just doesn't look good. But the most satisfying thing is going to be later on pulling off all this tape and getting those crisp lines. Passenger side, same thing. You, you can see through the brown in, in, a, in a few places, but uh, we've, we've got some really crisp lines in here when I pull this tape off and it's going to look amazing. All right, well, my uh, rolling arm is a little tired. We're done, guys. Two coats, decals, all cut in. The paint is not even dry yet. It is time for the most satisfying part of all, and that is pulling that tape and seeing those awesome lines. I can't wait, but let's take a closer look. Because I do want to remind my viewers, I'm not going for perfection. I am not a professional. However, I'm doing it my way, and this is gonna be art, really. Let's, let's just call it art, okay? That's what it is. Uh, it's killing me. I want to take this tape off. All right, everybody say it with me. Pull that tape. I am so happy with how this turned out. And just putting a little bit of brown back into the old part right here that I didn't really change. I didn't change anything on this particular slide except change that red to brown. And now that brown theme continues on into the back. And I'm gonna show you the touch up I gotta do. Nothing's perfect. I wasn't going for perfect, but. From a distance, it looks amazing. Again, realize that it, it is just a matte finish right now. It still needs to be glossy like the bottom down here. And that's coming soon. We got some uh, issues here where, see how the gray came down? Even though I got the good tape, still gonna have to use my nail right now. And pretty much, see how easy that was? I'll have to fix that a few times. Some paint got over the edge right there, but it's still, I can still get it off with my nail once I set the camera down. But uh, yeah, came out really nice. Again, we'll step back here. You can see the front, how it goes all the way through to the back. You can still kind of see my old logo. See, if you look carefully, you can see my round Nomadic Fanatic logo barely, but with the new decals are taking control of your eyes. That's what you're seeing now. I think it came out great. I'm really, really happy with this project. Spend about an hour or more kind of cleaning up everything. I'm going to get a little razor knife and some alcohol, some goof off and make it look all purdy. You know, I could have used your help out there today, Jax. I could have. I was up on myself doing all the hard workies while you were in here sleeping and now you're biting me and I don't know why. I was good and I fed you. you little putts. I'm not calling you that anymore. That's right. So let me look at my schedule for the next couple days and, and, and check the forecast and things like that and see if, see if I can fit in four or five coats of Zep 
polish on the outside of the RV and that, that that'll also kind of help conceal it and, and kind of protect the paint because for the next couple months it's still going to be a little, little vulnerable around the edges, you know. But if I get that glossy wax coat surface on there, it's kind of just encased in there. But that also means that I've got to do a whole deep clean of the RV and I don't know if I'm up for that. I should be. I should just do it right now while I got it. But I've been talking with, with Robert who is in the area. He may be coming over. I would love to have him fix my manifold exhaust leak one more time a, a fifth time now uh we got we got a new plan this time because we do believe that something is warped in there it doesn't matter how many times you fix it it's always going to come back but yeah let me let me check my schedule and see what's going on I, even though i'm staying here at the shop at modified auto i'm gonna have to take the car over to base camp tonight and do a couple things because we are expecting a freeze yeah it's supposed to freeze tonight i thought we were done with freezing temperatures okay <laughs> other than that uh, the other really cool thing is that here in Alton I, I'm in East Alton right now but in Alton the town over they just opened a brand new theater during a pandemic I know that sounds crazy right it, I forgot the name of it something like RNC theaters or something like that but uh, there's a new theater that, that's open so uh, Sean and Jill and I are going to go check that out and see what it's like uh, anyway I'll get back to you here in two days guys have a good one thanks for watching bye bye